Okay, listen up. Today we're gonna talk about something very important. We're gonna talk about minimum requirements for a computer for music production. Yes, we are. Hey everyone, my name is Percy Jules. Welcome to Super C and welcome to this series called Budget Studio. In this series, I'm exploring the best options for creating music on a budget. So if you're interested in this, then consider subscribing because there's a lot of interesting information to be found right here. So the beating heart of most home studios and basically most studios period is obviously a computer. And about a computer, you could say the more powerful, the better right? It will reduce the chances of you running into freezes and crashes and all kinds of hiccups and limitations. Now obviously a powerful computer comes with a price tag and especially if you're on a budget you know a computer is kind of a large investment. In fact it's a very large investment so you would like to lower that price tag as much as possible. But then what is the lower limit? I mean how low can you go? So what are the minimum requirements for a computer for music production so that you can still create music without a lot of issues but pay as little as possible? Spoiler alert! In this video I'm not gonna give you exact numbers on minimum specifications for a computer for music production. What? I'm not. But there's a good reason for that. Well first of all it'll save me a lot of time figuring out what those numbers are. But there's another good reason and that is this. So there are a lot of videos and articles and vlogs and blogs about exactly this subject. And in most of those vlogs and blogs, they will give you exact numbers. They will tell you exactly what they think you need. And even though I think that many of those vlogs and blogs contain a lot of very useful and very good information, in most cases, in my opinion, something seems to be overlooked and that something is you. So the minimum requirements for a computer for music production for you heavily depends on you and your situation. So what equipment do you use and how do you use it? So for instance, let's say that you're using Pro Tools, which I guess is a pretty heavy duty DAW, isn't it? Not even sure, but let's say that you're using a pretty heavy duty DAW. Uh, on average, you're using at least a hundred tracks per song. You're using a lot of plug-in instruments. You're using tons of plug-in effects on each track. Um, you want zero latency and all that good stuff, you know, and you want it without your computer crashing. Well, of course, in that case, you're gonna need a very powerful computer to handle all of that. But now let's say that you're a singer-songwriter and you're only recording some piano and not even a plug-in but a, a hardware piano and you're only recording the audio, maybe also some guitar, some bass, uh, you have a little drum module which you record, um, I don't know, 15, max 20 tracks per song, you're only using some EQ, some compression, maybe some reverb, uh, and you're using a pretty a lightweight DAW, like Reaper for instance, in that case you probably could do with a much less powerful computer. You know, so again it very much depends on what equipment you use and how you use it. But you might say, okay, but Percy, what good is this to me? I mean, I've been watching this video for minutes now, you're not giving me exact numbers, so how on earth do I know what to get if I want a new computer for music production? Well, this will require you to do some investigating yourself. Um, but it is very easy to get a very good idea about what it is that you actually need. Now first thing to do is to make a list of all the equipment that you're using and to be a bit future proof think ahead a little bit and add all the equipment that you think you're gonna need in the near future. Okay? Now once you have that, once you have that list then simply go to the developers website and in most cases they will literally tell you the minimum requirements for your computer in order to use their products. So for example, let's take a look at Pro Tools. I was just talking about Pro Tools. Now, this is the website. Um, somehow find the system requirements page. 
Okay, I think I've got it right here. And as you can see, minimum system requirements. Uh, and it says Mac, Intel Mac with Mac OS X 10.11.6, Mac OS X, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Intel Core i5 processor, Intel Core i7 processor, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs or more recommended, uh, 15 gigs of disk, disk uh, space for installation. You know, it's literally all here. Okay, let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at Studio One. Same thing, computer system requirements. Mac, Mac OS 10.11 or higher, 64-bit only. Intel Core 2 Duo processor, Intel Core i3 or better recommended. Uh, Windows, Windows 7, Surface Pack 1 Plus, platform update, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, 64-bit only, Intel Core Duo or AMD Athlon, etc, etc. Uh, also, let's take a look at a plugin. This is uh, Omnisphere, which is one of the most popular uh, uh, software synths out there. Same thing. Um, system requirements for all users, uh, 2.4 gigs or higher processor, 8 gigs of RAM or more recommended, 64 gigs of hard drive space. Again, it is literally here, they're, they're literally telling you uh, what you need. Again, this is a very good way and a very easy way of getting a pretty good idea about what specifications your computer should have. Again, I'm not going to do the work for you simply because there are too many variables. You know your situation best, so go with that and do a little bit of investigating. Okay, so that's about it. That's my advice on this issue. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you have a better way maybe of figuring out what specs your computer should have for music production? Whatever it is, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, then again, consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon so you won't miss a thing. For now, I'm going to thank you for watching and I will talk to you very soon.